a worm program sorted. Like I, I said, and I'll re recommend it again to everybody, the Worm Boss website. Mm -hmm. Now, the Worm Boss website has so much freaking information, it will blow your mind. Mm -hmm. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. And that's a lot for a lot of people. And if you're anything like me, sometimes having to take ownership of the problem and all of a sudden you feel like you're being the vet and you're like, why do I have to know all of this? Um, it's like when a computer guy comes to me and says, no, 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 you, you need this computer and just download this thing. And I'm like, dude, I'm not the computer guy. You can't expect yeah. me to know this. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's how I feel with people with vet stuff and worms. It's so hard and you can't be expected to know it unless you've done a parasitology degree. So mm -hmm. worm boss though, take the time and just slowly digest it and you will understand that a worm problem will never go away. Yeah. You have to control it all the time. And that is constant yeah. testing and constant changing sometimes of your chemicals, constant weighing of your animals, making sure you're treating them with the right dose rate. And sometimes I change my mind on that too. Sometimes mm. if one mm. chemical doesn't work, I'll just double the dose rate. Mm. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a real problem, but also remember it doesn't go away, but it also has a lot more to do with it than just worms and worm eggs. Mm. Make sure your selenium's good. Make sure your zinc's good. Make sure your animals are happy stress all animals will deal with worms in their life mm -hmm. but if you have animals that are under physiological stress then they're they're going to do worse and, and, that, and that, that can also mean environmental stress too environmental stress if it, yeah if mm. your plants aren't healthy um it's yeah it, it general health my, and well-being is really important I, I, I feel like my conclusion, like after we did those few months of the parasite control program for camels, and, and I love it because it's not, it's not like just do this and do that because, you know, it, there's no one answer for one property, as you mm -hmm. say, you know, you can't, you can't compare the pair. Um, what we're doing may not work for somebody else, but, at the, and that's what I love about it is for those that are listening and want to get their head around this parasite issue with camels, definitely go and listen to that three part series with the um, parasite control program um, where we talk about how worms happen and why they happen and under what conditions. But at the end of the day, it's up to us as the camel owner to figure out our herd. And when I say herd, I'm, I'm also including my goats, my donkey, my horse, my dogs, like everything living yeah. four legs on this property because we don't shit outside. So <laughs> I think we're all right. <laughs> anything that shits outside is part of this program but look it, it is it's so true and everyone gets so sick of talking about worms i get it um but i deal with worm every single day there is not a camel farm or an alpaca farm or a llama farm or a goat farm mm -hmm. that doesn't have this as their highest priority problem yeah. and it's so multifaceted so just i i guess just don't ever think that it'll go away. They're like children, right? <laughs> you have them and they're, like, like, <laughs> they're just there all the freaking time. And if it's not one thing, it's another thing. And just when you get one kid sorted, the other kid turns to shit. And <laughs> it, it, it just it drives me insane. But it's yeah it's a problem and just don't get disheartened the other thing is that yes. and be careful when you see stuff on the internet when someone's giving it and i find this really difficult because people mm. will send a message or whatever and they go what do you use for worms mm. that's not the right question you're not it's asking not the, the question. right question and that's really important Hey, just quickly, how would you like access to the full tutorial on this camel topic? Become a member of our Camelier Academy now and you not only get access to this camel information, but a whole library of camel information. The Camelier Academy is an online portal for camel owners and camel lovers just like you, which consists of a library of camel information, including 
entertaining camel vet talks and procedures, camel handling techniques and camel psychology talks, access to the latest and greatest info on camel husbandry and well-being, even workshops on how to make your own camel equipment, and of course, a forum to ask your camel questions to camel professionals. This is just a glimpse on what you'll get access to in the Camel Ear Academy. It's the camel flix for the camel lover. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. Come join us, our resident camel vet, and a community of camel connectors worldwide over at cameleeracademy.com. That's C-A-M-E-L-E-E-R academy.com.